Cynthia, how are you this evening? I'm well. How are you? I am just. <laughs> oh, that's okay. <laughs> Did I get that right, Cynthia? Purgatory Paranormal. That's it. Oh, that's fantastic. The, that's the name of my channel. That's <sighs> who I am. I've said it several times. I've got a face for radio, a voice for print, and damn if I can spell. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's not a problem at all. <laughs> how you doing? Good. It's it's uh, nice to have you on the show. I've, Thank uh, you. I've watched Thank some you. of your stuff over the uh, over the months. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. I believe, um, uh, have you, you're either, you've either hung out in uh, like Pusha or, uh, yes. or Cab 7. Uh, All of, yes, both yeah. of those. <laughs> it's that community where we run into several of the same people over and oh, over. Great of course. people. Yeah. Great people. Absolutely. They've helped me out so much. Uh, Pusha has given me so much good advice, you know, so I don't have to, they have are, to say it. Awesome. Yeah, they are such good people. Such they good really people. are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I've, I've watched a, a few of your uh, interview videos. This is very interesting. I, I like the format. Oh, well, thanks. Thanks. Um, like I said, I was I was kind of waiting for you to come on. I, uh, you and I, had, I think we brushed closely on a panel, if memory serves. Oh. Don't quote me on that. I think I okay. came up after you'd left or something. Okay. And I thought, yeah, I want her to come on the show. So, uh, oh, well, thank you. <laughs> no problem. That's very sweet of you. Got to ask, what uh, what brings you on the show? Do you want to talk about maybe songs that have made impacts in your life? Yeah, you know, I think it's a great topic because I've I've actually wanted to uh, write about it, and I I think I might do a stream on a similar topic. I think that songs, if you think about any period in your life, there are songs that define our most people love music. I, music is a big part of humans' lives. It calms the savage beast. And I think if you think back over the different decades of your life, um, there's a song that defines each period in your life. You know, like I was, a, I grew up in New York City. And as a little girl, I loved the song Windy. I don't know if you know the song. <laughs> it's I, an oldie. I believe um, I do. Do you remember the artist? Uh, is he the association? I the association. The association. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I <laughs> so remember that song. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, to me, when I hear that song, I go right back to going to the dog show in New York City with my parents, you know, walking around the city streets with my parents, and boom, I can feel it. I can smell it, you know. Isn't that crazy? It is. It's amazing what how evocative music can be. You know, so I, I saw that this was the topic that you had, and I, I just wanted to jump in because I do have many songs that have been important to me. There is one, though, that did have a visceral effect, a visceral effect on me. Mm -hmm. And that um, one? And um, that one, what happened was, and it starts off with a sad story, but in 1983, I was 23, my cousin was 23, and we lost her to cancer, uh, and it was very sad. But about a week later, I'm driving in my car, and Rocket Man by Elton John starts to play on the radio. And if you recall the song, it starts off, it's a very plaintive tone, very melancholy. Well, I am driving down the road and I burst into tears and I literally almost drive off the road. I have oh. to pull off the road and I have no idea why. Hmm. I have, it's a week since she passed. For years, if I heard the notes beginning, <laughs> on that song I had to turn it off I'm talking 15 years it took me a long time now when I hear the song it makes me think of her mm -hmm. so it's turned into I'm not going to say a positive but now it's it's calming to me but for the longest time and I've tried and tried I've actually thought about writing to Sir Elton John <laughs> to ask him about you know why he wrote the song what is the song about? Why would it do this to me? <laughs> you yeah, know? yeah. Um, it, it came out in 1973. She and I were both 13 years old. We used to hang out a lot. We used to listen to music, talk about boys and all these things. I cannot figure it out. It's it's one of the biggest mysteries of my life. So now when I hear the song, I think of her and I still wonder why. Why did this song do this to me? <laughs> that is strange. Uh... It was it was crazy. Yeah, cool. But I'm going to take issue. I I think it is actually a positive, and and here's why I think that is because okay. uh, suddenly it's it's turned it not into a sad memory, mm -hmm. but what I think uh, all passing should be is a celebration of the life that they had, the time they had with us. Right. 
I know right. that that's that's getting a little deep, but uh... <laughs> but it is but it is deep because it was such a a deep again like I said a visceral reaction. I mean, when I tell you I burst into tears, I'm lucky I didn't drive into a tree. Mm. I was like, I had to get <laughs> off the road, and, uh, and and I'm just you know on the side of the road bawling my eyes out. And I have no idea why. And if somebody had come up to me and said, "Ma'am, what's the matter?" I'd be like, "Oh, Rocket Man," you know. I, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's when they call the ambulance and you haven't like, crashed. <laughs> There's something wrong with this lady. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't you don't want seconds on that, folks. <laughs> so and I still to this day cannot figure it out. That's so it, strange. That's so is, strange. It real it really is because when I think about my life again, the different songs, the different my college years. There's specific songs. There's my high school years, specific songs, specific songs for every decade of my life. And I can explain them. And this one, I don't know. No explanation. Not a, not a clue. Wow. Wow. <laughs> and it's a great song. Oh, it is. It's, it's fantastic. A fantastic song. You know, and it's uh, it's just a great song to like sit in the dark when you're feeling blue and listen to this song and just to get as deep into it as you want, you know, and then you kind of get it out and then you can uh, go on, you know, it's one of those kinds of songs. Um, it yeah. so makes, it so makes me want to dive uh, uh, further into it and find out why that, that song is so, so significant. I've wanted to for years. I had a, I had a vlog online for years called Ravings of an Average Mind. And I actually <clears throat> did a huge long vlog post about it. Um, just trying to, flesh it out in my own mind you know and you know, it's you know, the answer is just not there just no just, connection no uh i mean uh, i understand it was a sad time but there are myriad of melancholy songs that you hear in the course of the day everybody's singing about the dog the pickup truck the woman they lost everybody's singing a sad song you just described every country music song <laughs> ever <laughs> <laughs> But this one came on, man, and that song starts. She packed my bags last night pre-flight, and those those notes, and it's like, whoa, <laughs> and I just don't know why. Wow, yeah. wow. Yeah. It, yeah. It's funny how what the uh, subconscious will pick up. I mean, you know, I want to say that it's perhaps a song uh, that you heard on the way, uh, you know, during that time, maybe in, in a time of, of mental crisis, given the loss, mm -hmm. and, and it just stuck, but you weren't aware of it. You know, it was just, and then all of a sudden, boom. So uh, that, many, so many theories. I've, I've, I've tried them all. I'm you know, not helping, maybe, am I? <laughs> she and I, she and I maybe listened to it together in 1973 when it came out, or it's just, it was just such an overtly melancholy tune. Okay. Um, 15 years Ooh. is a long time for a song to get to you. You know, when yeah. it was about 15 years, I couldn't listen to that song. Wow. So, yeah. Well, uh, did I miss something? Uh, how how long uh, after uh, her passing did, did you break down in the car? One week. Oh, one week. Okay. Okay. Huh. One week after. Okay. Yeah. And then, then you can listen to it for 15 years. Wow. 15 years. At least 15 years. I literally would hear it and be like, oh, just you know, just throwing things at the radio, something, just turn that right, turn it off, especially if I was in, driving the car, forget about it. <laughs> well, that, that beg, yeah, that begs the question. Uh, when was it that you, you couldn't shut it off and then it turned into, you know, more of a positive uh, a vibe? Like I said, it, let's see. So it was about 15 years. So uh, around 1998. So, okay. so yeah, around 1998. <laughs> <laughs> it was, took a long time. Was the radio just too far away or someone else's? <laughs> I no, get to I it. mean, if like if I was driving the car and the song came on, I'd have to turn it off very right. quickly. If I was somewhere else, I would just have to turn it off because mm. otherwise I'd be crying. And when I cry, I can't breathe. I'm oh. like allergic to my tears or something. So it's like, I literally can't think of anything worse to be allergic to than your own tears. Yeah, I swear to God. <laughs> God, Except maybe your would. tongue, but <laughs> no, that would totally be worse. Would yes, totally it would. Yes, worse. it would. Um, but yeah, yeah. So I try to cry as little as possible. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> like I, I was like, I'm weeping. Get me the Afrin. I cannot breathe. <laughs> 
Well, I, I anyway. hate to say I hate to say that's so cool because you know, given the circumstances, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but it is kind of yeah. cool. I mean, when you think about it, um, now it is. I mean, I have such a history with that song that if I was ever to meet Sir Elton John, I'd be like, I'm so happy to meet you. I have a question for you. Yes, <laughs> and it would be, and he'd be like looking at me cross-eyed, getting you know, like. Could you come get her, please? You know, there's something wrong with this woman. I think I would act on what you were talking about. Um, today's world, it's so much easier to get in touch with people in that way. I, so? I'd throw him a line. And, you know, what, what's what's the worst that can happen? You know, <laughs> all right? I get, I, get a, I get a form letter back. You get a form letter, right? Thank from... you so much for writing to Sir Elton John. <laughs> but he's busy. <laughs> yes. Thanks for your support. doesn't have the time for you. <laughs> 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 I might, I might do that. Yeah, I would. I absolutely would. <laughs> yeah, I might do because that, but it, it's a great topic. It's a cool story. Oh, and I, I've got yeah. to warn you: don't go back yeah. and watch. Uh, I had a panel show where we actually highlighted uh, Bill Shatner's cover of that song. I don't know if you're aware of that one. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, we made quite a lot of fun of it, uh, as most God people do. Him. Yes, God bless that man bless because Bill. he is so funny. <laughs> yes. Okay, but it, but it, but honestly, uh, different different song, totally different. But if you want to have a last laugh, you must look up um, the Hoff singing oh, "Hooked on oh. a Feeling." David Hasselhoff. Hasselhoff hooked on a feeling. You'll thank me. <laughs> I'm writing that down now. <laughs> you will, you will, you will send me a thank you letter. I guarantee. <laughs> Anybody else out there? David Hasselhoff looked on a feeling. You heard Just it, folks. It. Uh, wait till after the show, though. <laughs> it'll have, it'll, ha you'll be on the next panel telling people how much of an effect. <laughs> well, I can hardly wait because I'm always looking okay. for stuff to talk about. <laughs> Please check it out. You'll love it. That's fantastic, Cynthia. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming on tonight. I really, thank, really appreciate thank it. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. It's nice meeting you. And you are, uh, you know, you're always welcome uh, to, to come you. on no matter what the subject matter is. And uh, thank you. I, I look forward to talking to you again. All right. Well, take care. <laughs> Have a great night. Thanks. You too, hon. <laughs>